So Formula One have made changes to sprint race weekends and the new format is visible on the screen next to me. I'm not going to hold back in what I think to this in a few moments, but let's first of all go through the new format. On Fridays, they're going to have practice one and Grand Prix qualifying on Friday afternoon. That's right, they're going to hold the qualifying for the main Grand Prix on the Sunday on the Friday when everyone's at work and nobody can watch it. And on Saturday, they're calling it Sprint Saturday, you're going to have the Sprint Shootout, which we'll look at in a moment, and the F1 Sprint Race. And then on Sunday, the main Grand Prix. What do you think to this new structure? Let me know down in the comments and we're going to get into the detail of it just now. Now, as I've just said, the Friday qualifying session is in fact going to be for the Sunday Grand Prix. And on the Saturday, Sprint Saturdays, we're going to have the Sprint Shootout, which does not affect the starting order of Sunday's Grand Prix, but it is for the Sprint Race. So what is a Sprint Shootout? Well, let me tell you. It's going to have three parts to it, just like normal. And Q1 will have a 12-minute session with a mandatory medium tyre with the five slowest cars eliminated. Q2 will be 10 minutes with mandatory medium tyre, five cars eliminated, and Q3 will be eight minutes with mandatory soft tyre. And this is for the grid for the sprint race. So in no way does the sprint race affect the Grand Prix or have anything to do with the Grand Prix. Now, look... I'd like to know your opinions now of this in the chat, oh sorry, the comments down below to use to stream him. I've seen all of this coming out uh, now and I've just had to make a video straight away about it and just air my view on it. Um, I think this is short-sighted, I think it's pointless, I'm yet to see anyone give me a good reason why these even exist, and honestly, um, I think it's pandering to a fan base that isn't going to be um, involved in Formula 1 in 10 years' time anyway, unless Formula 1 continues to completely change its own identity into something that isn't Formula One that everyone's recognized for the past X number of years. Um, I think Formula One is going down somewhat of a dangerous path um, in changing its own heritage and identity in order to pander to a short sighted and um, narrow um, sort of fan base, which really are only in it for the clicks and are only in it for the drama, which is somewhat manufactured anyway in order to keep them interesting. And I, I, I've, I've thought about this so much that Formula One is losing and has lost sight of the fact that it in of itself is incredible. It in of itself has an amazing heritage that few sports can contend with. There are really few sports that can can really match up to the heritage, the global nature, and what Formula One has been throughout its history and the excitement of which it brings. Now, of course, there are other motorsports, there are other sports, but I'm a Formula One fan, and I'm now at the point where I'm worried that people... Uh, getting blinded by marketing. Now, look, I've said this forever, basically, that the only good sprint races that have happened have been corrections to poor qualifying situations. When uh, a top driver has qualified out of position and that top driver has come through the field, seldom does it actually create um, a, a, a cracking race on its own. And in fact, it goes to actually detract from the normal a Grand Prix, because if you've got a Sergio Perez, a Lewis Hamilton, a Max Verstappen qualifying at the back, that's being corrected during the sprint race, and then the Grand Prix loses that action. So in fact, with using those sprint races previously, you were taking away from the main Grand Prix. Now, I know throughout my content and throughout doing my live streams, lots of people say they enjoy them, 
but I, I've never really had a reason why other than I enjoy them. And I, I would really like to know why, because now all we're going to see is even more preservation, self-preservation for the teams and the cars. They don't care about them. They don't care about them. This is a completely manufactured situation where they're they're trying to they're trying to appeal to the TikTok instant gratification um, generation when really that isn't the sport. And we could, I, I mean, it's a digression, but I could even go down the path of we can't have safety car endings. Of course we can. Of course we can. Everyone's saying we need to finish under green flag and, and it be racing. Would you fly to Baku and say we're having a one lap Grand Prix? No, you wouldn't. It's it's insane to say that. So why we've got this recent, and it is an extremely recent fixation on green lap finishing, I'll never know because it's never been a thing. It's never been an issue until extremely recently. But for me, this is a huge no. And um, look, it sounds dramatic, but you know, when you love a sport, when you're invested in a sport, it means a lot to you. And people who are into football and have a football team, or maybe you're you're you're, you're from America and you're into baseball and you have a baseball team, if you're invested in something, then it means a hell of a lot to you. And I find the way which Formula One is shedding itself of its identity, its history, its heritage, and what it, it's always meant, I find it almost offensive, honestly. Because Formula One has always been the biggest test. It's always been, um, a, apart from maybe a Le Mans 24 hours, that kind of thing, but it's always been about being the pinnacle, it, a Grand Prix, not a sprint race. It isn't that. And can I just say, they're going half-assed on the sprint race anyway. It's the most redundant idea ever that's been created by people even older than me, frankly, that are sitting around a table going, oh, oh this sounds like a good idea. Mm, mm, yes, mm, yes. But really, it's just to get more people watching for 20 minutes on a Saturday afternoon, which, on it, I, 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 it, this isn't Formula One. This this isn't Formula One. Now, I don't think anyone's going to watch this video for this long, but I have to say it, this isn't Formula One. There are other series in the world that, are, that have shorter races, that have quick-fire races. British touring cars, there's nothing wrong with British touring car, but it has three races a day that are shorter, quick fire, they have reverse grids and different things like that. Watch that, it's great racing, but it's that isn't Formula One and it's not trying to be. I don't know what Formula One is trying to do here other than to try and appease some short-sighted uh, new fans which actually won't be interested long term and it, it just doesn't make any sense to me are we going down the road where we're going to have half an hour races in the future are we going down the road where we're going to have multiple 20 minute races in the future i don't know but for me this is a massive no um and if if you disagree with me that's fine that's fine i'm just passionate about it um i'd love to know the reason why if you like them why and don't don't I, I'd rather if you do like them that you don't just mention a correction of qualification basically where one driver that shouldn't be starting at the back has started at the back because all that's doing like I've already mentioned is taken away from the action of the Grand Prix now I know these are going to be separate now but that just makes them even more pointless I don't get it it's not for me and I'm really worried about the future of Formula One going down this road I can't help it but I would love to know your opinions, guys. Please do make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.